Hey everybody, it's the Ionic Guy, and I'm sitting in the back of my Ionic 5 today because I have a box that I want to show you guys. And this is a new dash cam from a company called FitCam. And what sets this dash cam apart from others on the market is this is specifically made for the Ionic 5. It fits where the existing plastic shroud behind the rear view mirror is. So you take that one off, this one pops on, it connects to your mirror, and it gives you a nice OEM clean dash cam look, which can't be said for most other dash cams on the market. So I'm really super excited about this. I really hate the look of my ugly dash cam sitting on my windshield. So I'm excited to get rid of it, give this a try for a few weeks. I'll show you how to install it. And I'll let you know after those couple weeks if I think you should go ahead and pick one of these up. It's not a cheap accessory. I'll have a link in the description. The price is probably gonna fluctuate, so I don't wanna say exactly how much it costs in this video, but it's definitely over $150, $200 most of the time. So you do pay a premium for that OEM look, but there is something to be said about that. So I'm excited to test it out. So let's go ahead, let's open this box up and see what's included. So we'll go ahead and pull the lid off of this guy. So over here in this side container. Interesting, so we basically have the Doncar dash cam adapter that you use for hooking up any other dash cam to the home link mirror. So this is included in the box, but this does have a proprietary um, type of connector for connecting their dash cam. You also get a plastic pry tool as well as a thumb drive. Not sure what's gonna be on this, but we will find out. So we'll put these to the side. Here in the larger box, So here is the dash cam itself. You can see it's built into the plastic shroud that mounts to the windshield. It does have a proprietary connector and the entire dash cam lives in this one little module right here in the front. You can see some felt right here so it's not clanging against the glass. There's your lens. Here's where your micro SD card goes. And here on the back, you have a power button as well as a photo button. We'll have to look through the manual and see exactly what that button does. There is a little antenna coming out the side here. That must be for the Wi-Fi to remotely remove clips to your phone. But yeah, it looks pretty nice. Definitely a nice clean look. Here's the user manual. And here's the really simple instructions. Basically use a pry tool to remove the small piece of plastic. Push forward to remove the big piece of plastic cover. Connect the Y cable. We're gonna have to remove my existing Dongar adapter. And then you just push the whole thing up into place and that's pretty much it. This is probably the simplest dash cam installation you could possibly do for your Ionic 5. So let's go ahead and start installing this thing. So the first thing we're gonna do here is remove my existing dash cam. This is a King Slim that I've been testing for a while. I never got around to making a review video for it, but it's been a okay little dash cam. It wasn't more than 70 bucks, I think. Oh, okay, so that's broken now. <laughs> so hopefully this works because that is not going back up. So now we'll go ahead, go in here, and we will pull off the existing Dongar adapter that I have installed. And I really like these Dongar adapters. It's a really good product. I've had no issues with them for the years that I've been using them. I really recommend them. I'll have a link in the description if you wanna buy one of these just to install a normal dash cam. And we no longer need this short little USB cable. Okay, so we now have this piece of plastic out, which is what holds this piece of plastic in place. So now we will go ahead and just like the instructions say, push down on this. Hopefully this should pop off. And there you go. <laughs> Comes off pretty easily. So there's some clips right here. These are what hold it to the windshield. 
And now you can get a pretty good look. This is the camera system for highway driving assist. You've got some other sensors right here. Not sure what that is, but this is the existing cable. So if you don't already have a Dongar adapter installed, this is the cable that you will find that's plugged into the home link mirror. So we'll pretend that the Dongar was never installed and that was just like that. So now we will take the new adapter from FitCam. We'll disconnect this right here and we will go ahead and plug the female side of this onto that connector, just like so. And now we can go ahead and plug the other side of that connector into the mirror. This can live just like that. And all you gotta do now is push this over your mirror. We'll make that power connection between this cable and this cable. And you do have to rotate that cable to get the pins to line up. And then just give that a nice firm push together. And that should be it. Then just push that back up towards the roof. And that's it. That's on there. We can take the last piece of plastic pop that cover on, but there you go. That was a very easy install. Something else we need to do is take the protect, protective film off of the lens, which I should have done before I installed it because now it's gonna be a little tricky because I can't see. Okay, got it. Remind me to clean that lens. So yes, we need the FitCam X app. Here it is has 3.3 stars on the Google Play Store. So that's not a good sign, but I'll reserve judgment for what I actually experience firsthand. All right, so now we're here in the application. It's asking for some permissions to store the imagery. So we'll allow while using the app, allow. So connect to FitCam X. Install the camera and power on. Yes, we are installed and powered on. Select camera Wi-Fi and connect. So we'll click connect Wi-Fi and see what we get for available networks. It looks like it's the one called LHD. So we'll click on that. And the password is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Confirm that. Connect. Camera connection succeeded. So we'll click Access Fit Cam X and see what we get. There we go. We got a nice view out the front of the car. And let's check out what we can do here. You got camera settings. So you can turn on sound recording. I like to have that on. Photo resolution. 12 megapixels is pretty good. Video resolution. I'm going to turn that all the way up to 4K because the more resolution with a dash cam, the better. But you won't be able to record as long of a loop. Loop record options. I'll bring it down to one minute because if I want to transfer these files, it's going to take a long time if it's a three minute file. Uh, we'll leave a timestamp on. Okay, pretty good. They actually give you a 64 gigabyte micro SD card. So that is nice that they include that. Let's format that though. So that's pretty much all the settings you have access to. And you can easily disable and engage the microphone right here. This app is available for the Apple App Store as well, not just Google Play. We can see here there's already a few clips from the last few minutes. Wow, that is a really clear image. Holy cow. This looks so much better than the 2K I took out of the car. The app works really well, actually. It's pretty responsive. I could not get the app for this King Slim to work at all. Had horrible reviews, just didn't work. In comparison, the FitCam app is actually really good.
so I've been living with the FitCam X for three weeks, four weeks roughly, and I gotta say, it's been flawless. The app connects nearly instantly, so that's nice. The app has worked completely flawlessly. I have no issues transferring data from the dash cam to my phone. I do have one minor complaint, and that is that the micro SD card is kind of in a spot where if you have really big fingers like I do, trying to get it back in can be a little tricky. It's recessed here, so it's kind of hard to get at. Um, it's a minor quibble since I'm not pulling the card out all that often since it has a really good app. But if you're somebody who likes to pull the card out often, that might be a consideration for you. Um, other than that, there's no squeaks and rattles. I am perfectly satisfied with the image quality coming out of the camera. I'm coming from a 1080p and a 2K camera. So having 4K is a huge improvement over that. And I hope you've been able to see that with some of the clips that I just showed you. Um, you can make out license plates in clear, bright weather. At night, it gets a little muddy and a little streaky, but that's mostly due to the low light nature. And I've never had any dash cam that is super clear at night where you can make out license plates as cars are passing you or coming towards you. So I'm not gonna gripe about that because that's just the nature of these cameras. So I really like this device. I highly suggest it. It's definitely gonna make it into my list of Ionic Guy approved accessories. I'm keeping this thing in here. I'm not even gonna test out any others because this OEM look is really nice. I like the cleanliness of it. There's nothing cluttering my windshield anymore. So I'm really happy about that. My only other complaint that as it comes from the factory, this does not have parking mode. So if you want to be able to record imagery when your car is bumped or knocked into in a parking lot or something, this is not gonna be able to do that without getting another accessory from FitCam that allows you to hardwire to the fuse panel right here under the driver's knee. Um, I personally don't like running cables down the A-pillar or to fuse panels, it's just a hassle I don't wanna deal with. I really wish they could find a way to put either a capacitor or a small battery in here because I've had dash cams in the past that have a small like 200 milliamp hour battery and that's enough to pretty much record as much movement as the car is gonna see when it's sitting still. Maybe they could even offer it as an aftermarket accessory that uses their proprietary connector up there. So I would like to see that. But yeah, it's rock solid. It's not falling off. Um, hasn't overheated or anything. And just super easy to use. This is hands down the best smartphone app for a wireless dash cam that I've ever used. And I've used four or five dash cams over the last few years. So I'm very impressed with that. So the ratings in their app store don't really reflect my experience with their app. It's rated at 3.3 stars right now, but I would easily give it four to five stars just based on my experience. FitCam has also provided me with a coupon code that you can use to get 6% off the dash cam. All you gotta use is the code FITCAMIONIC5 and that'll take 6% off. I'll also have a link in the description for this t-shirt from Flux Gear Shop if you're interested. Uh, they make a bunch of Ionic 5 themed clothing and accessories, so be sure to check them out as well. They're another online small business just like myself, so be sure to pay them a visit. So anyway guys, definitely give the FitCam a try. I really like it. And if you like today's video, give it a thumbs up and I'll see you guys in the next one. Take care everybody.